I'll give you guys a uh, quick two minute walk around of this uh, 91 Chevy Caprice that I acquired a few weeks ago. I've been working night shifts, so I haven't had time to do anything uh, or make any videos for you guys. And I do apologize for that. So please bear with me. Uh, November will be the month where I'll get some videos made for you. Okay, so <clears throat> the car had busted coil springs. Um, the car was uh, about to here with the fender and the tire. So I put new springs in it. Uh, just over the weekend and also new shock absorbers got about like a three inch gain all of a sudden you know just by just by doing that um, <clears throat> the other side has not been done yet I am going to do the back as well the back doesn't really need to be done but I'm gonna do it anyway just to say that I have new suspension components in the vehicle so you hear it's it's fairly low we I can pretty well guarantee dead to rights that I got a broken coil on this side too but uh, go ahead and look in the inside for you guys Absolutely very nice automobile uh, vehicle has never been smoked and it has been uh, treated by a, a very uh, Very well by a, an elderly couple um, And I mean I still can't get over that you know so um, But you know what somebody's wife, you know got fed up with looking at it in the driveway the roof is starting to rust because uh, the clear coat started to uh, start attacking uh, the base, I, I was assuming, and it started to get right into the steel. So, you know, somebody's wife started to get sick and tired of the car. Um, so basically, uh, I pulled this car right out of a junkyard. It was a, basically a Casper Clunkers uh, resurrection, as I'd like to call them. Um, it was deemed to be destroyed, but uh, the vehicle is, in fact, sitting in my garage now, awaiting restoration. So. This car was pulled out of a junkyard, believe it or not. So, um, until I came along, which is usually what happens. No power steering. Uh, the power steering uh, high pressure hose let go, so I have to replace that with a new one. And uh, it's missing a catalytic converter, so I got to weld a, a straight piece of steel uh, between both pipes. I'm not going to put a, a, a catalytic converter in the vehicle, it's for emissions. It doesn't require a yet to be installed on the vehicle for safety purposes so I'm not going to bother. Now I'll go ahead and start it up for you guys because I know you guys love a V8 especially with no exhaust. It does have anti-lock brakes. One, two, <clears throat> It does have airbags, you know, for all you guys who are uh, safety nuts about airbags, you guys like having a big piece of plastic uh, deflated into your face at 60 mile an hour on impact while there you go, it has an airbag. So you guys can mutter away without that in the comment section down below. And for whatever reason, I don't understand it, the car doesn't have Twilight Sentinel as far as I'm concerned. For whatever reason, once I turn the key onto the run position, the tail lights and the headlights come on. I don't like that. It doesn't have the electronic eye. Something is bypassed so that the lights remain on at all times. And as soon as you shut the key off, the lights go out. So I want to uh, see what's going on there. Somebody bypassed the switch. Or something. Something I don't like about it anyway. Uh, I'll take a look at the cargo area real quick. Not from this cat. 
Have yourselves a good day.